both Beverly and Dennis really jumped into this role as leaders in this early education commission. I, I was going to say with two feet, but I, I would say two feet, two hands in their whole body. They brought a very studious approach that presented facts, found research to get the answer, but also what they reflected was a passion way beyond what you would expect from the head of the Federal Reserve or even a college president. Dennis is a whole person. He lives a rich life. He gives to the business world through his work with the Federal Reserve. He gives to the community and he gives to his family. When they approached me, um, I, you know, I thought it was hard to say no. When I got into the subject, uh, subject matter of, of children and education and development of children at an early age, it was doubly hard to say no because it had to do with children. Spelman College is an institution that's committed to community service. We expect our students to provide service to the community, and it seems to me we all need to lead by example, including me. I love to see her involved, and it, it really makes me proud as a graduate of Spelman College to know that the work and the legacy of our institution goes well beyond those gates, but into the community at large. Beverly Tatum understands, as a college president, that when those girls walk through the door, of Spelman College, that they didn't just walk through the door carrying with them what they had yesterday. You know, we talk about investing in football stadiums or we talk about investing in streetcars and all those things are important and contribute positively to a community. But there's nothing more important than investing in the human capital. And our human capital are our young children. Federal Reserve is interested in the vitality of the economy, both regionally and nationally. And that vitality is a function of educated consumers. It's a function of, of a workforce that is able to meet the needs of modern uh, economic requirements. So I saw this issue connected with the, uh, the outcomes that are important for the economy. That part of the early learning whole continuum that it involves a real return on investment, I think was one of the things that really hooked Dennis. But then when he found out about the brain development and about quality and about access, uh, all of that just, you know, you could just see it bubbling up with Dennis as uh, the more knowledge he gained, the more he could do with it. You just don't intervene at some midpoint and create the same long-term effect as what happens cumulative from day one to year one to year two all the way through life. It is completely consistent and one might even say self-serving to focus on the needs of young children but I think we all have to look at that as the future that we want to be as strong and as powerful as possible. Dennis and Beverly are extraordinarily busy people and yet they give so much of their time back to the community and I look at them and I say well if they can do it I can do it. Invest in early childhood. <laughs>